Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to properly install Gazebo in Windows by using Windows Subsystem for Linux. That is, we will install Gazebo by running Ubuntu 24.04 by using WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux. And over here you can see that Gazebo is running from this Linux terminal and here is the main window. Furthermore, in this video tutorial, I will teach you how to run the simulation that you can see over here. This simulation shows a robot that can navigate a warehouse. You can easily move this robot by using the keyboard keys. Namely, if I press W, the robot will move forward. Then if I press S, the robot will move backward. Then if I press A, the robot will rotate counterclockwise and if I press D the robot will rotate counterclockwise and you can navigate the robot in this warehouse for example if you want to go in one direction you will do something like this and you can explore this environment and note over here that you also have a lighter over here that's scanning the environment and also in this simulation you can simulate SLAM and different path planning and navigation algorithms. Here is the installation procedure. First of all, we will install Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL. We will do that by opening the PowerShell and by just executing this command. And I will explain this later on. The next step is to install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 in WSL. We will need this Linux version for running the newest version of ROS2 called Jazzy Jalisco and we will install Gazebo version that is Gazebo Harmonic that can be used with this version. And the final step is to install Gazebo Harmonic in WSL and to run the simulations. Okay, so let's start immediately. Believe it or not, you can install Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL by using only a single command. So let's do that. First of all, click here and search for PowerShell. Then, don't immediately click on the PowerShell, do the right click and click on Run as Administrator. And over here you can install Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL by just executing this command. If you execute this command, it will take some time to install WSL and after that you need to restart your computer. Since I already have WSL on my system, I will not execute this command. However, you should execute this command. Then, wait. As I said, the system needs to be restarted once the procedure is completed and you need to do it manually. After you restart the system, you will see immediately one screen will pop up and it will be written installing Ubuntu. Okay, so do that and continue to watch this video tutorial. Now, after you restart the computer, you can click over here and you can search for WSL and you will see this cute penguin icon. And you can also search for Ubuntu and you will see also your Ubuntu app. So you can, for example, just start Ubuntu app or if you click on WSL, you will also start Ubuntu. So if you click over here, Ubuntu will start. Now, it's very important over here to make sure that this version is correct. So let's see. To do that, you need to type LSB release NA. And over here, you can see that the default version of Ubuntu is 22.04. However, we cannot run the newest version of Gazebo that's compatible with ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco and Jazzy Jalisco in this Ubuntu version. Consequently, we need to install an additional Ubuntu version. That is, we need to install Ubuntu 24.04. We can do that literally in two minutes. So let's learn how to do that. Close this window and let's go back to the PowerShell. To install Ubuntu 24.04 in WSL, we need to perform these steps. First of all, again, let's click on Start, search for PowerShell, then do the right click and click on Run as Administrator and click on Yes. Then. First of all, let's list all the available distributions that it can be installed on Windows PowerShell. We can do it like this, like this WSL list online, and you can see all 
all possible distributions. We need to install this distribution. To install this distribution, we simply need to run this command. Here it is. Oops, I made an error. Let me just make sure that I write it correctly. WSL, then you need to write this, install, then D, and you need to copy and paste the name of the distribution. Here it is. And this will install Ubuntu 24.04 on your machine. So click on enter, and now the process will start. Installing Ubuntu 24.04. Now be patient over here, and this will take some time. And then you can see launching. Then over here, you need to set up your password. Better to say your username and password. So let's do that. Let's just wait. Okay, username. Enter your username that you want and enter your password. I will enter my password. Press enter. Then you probably need to confirm, yes, the password. And after you press enter, you will be logged in into Linux Ubuntu. And then you will see this screen. This means that you're logged in. Just exit by pressing exit because we will run Linux Ubuntu from the standard prompt. Okay, now you can close PowerShell and we can continue. Next, let's see if we can run Ubuntu. Click here and search Ubuntu. And you will see several versions. You will see this Ubuntu version, which is 22.04, and you can see Ubuntu 24.04. If you don't see Ubuntu 24.04, simply type this and you will see this distribution. So start this. And let's make sure that this is the correct distribution. Type LSB over here, release A. And you can see over here, that is 24.04. Perfect. We can now continue with installation of Gazebo. Now you can minimize this window and you can go to this website. And this is the official Gazebo website. And now over here, we need to find installation procedure. How to find that? The easiest way is to click here on get started and you will see this menu over here. Now you can click on installed or you can just directly even skip all these steps and type gazebo sim.org docs all install and you will see this window. Here it's very important to select harmonic from here. That is select harmonic then. Here you have several installation options. You have binary installation and you have source installation. The difference is that binary installation contains pre-compiled files and installation is much simpler. You will just download the binary files, you will install them and they will run. However, the source installation involves the build step and it's more for advanced users and you might see some issues. Okay, so let's click on binary installation on Ubuntu and we need to execute these steps. So let's execute these steps. What I will do now, I'm going to minimize my screen and we will go step at a time. First of all, you need to run this. So let's run it here. Oops, I made an error over here. So let me just repeat this. And let's run this. Okay. This is the first step. Let's go step at a time. Then you need to run this command. Copy it properly. Okay, then you need to do curl, which is a standard procedure. Whenever you want to install something, then you need to echo this. Okay, then you need to sudo apt get update. And after that, you need to run this command that will actually install Harmonic. That is, you need to execute this sudo apt get install gs harmonic. And after you will be asked, do you want to reserve additional space? It's around 1.6 gigabyte on your local disk. Click on yes. And here you need to wait. This might take even three or four minutes, depending on how fast is your computer. And notice here that we are actually sharing the resources with Windows. Next, let's verify the installation by running a simple demo example. To run the simple demo example, we need to start gs sim and then shapes.sdf. Shapes.sdf 
is the demo example and GS sim means that we want to run the simulation. So let's run this and let's see what will happen. Now, click over here and you will see some errors and some warnings here. For the time being, simply ignore them. What I just discovered is that Gazebo will work with no issues. This first error can be actually eliminated by installing MESA and you can do it later on. However, you can still run and test Gazebo. Maybe later on or in some advanced application you might need more advanced OpenGL, then you need to address this error. Now, these warnings can be ignored. However, maybe in some application they will be crucial. So you can also Google later on and figure out how to clear them and how to solve the issues, possible issues. However, I didn't see anything so far. Now, the most important thing is that you can actually start Gazebo in Windows through WSL, and this is very important. So let's run this simulation. So what this simulation will do, here there is some wind blowing or there is some instability occurring and to run this simulation, click here, click here and wait. And let's see what will happen. This egg has to fall down and it actually happens. This means that the simulation is running properly. Good, perfect. Okay, so this is the first verification that Gazebo is actually working through WSL. Let's continue with the second verification. Okay, now you can safely close this simulation, click OK, and let's run the second simulation. The second simulation can be run by simply typing GSSIM. And this will open the standard simulation gazebo window that you can see over here, and select this tugboat in warehouse and click on Run. Now, over here, you need to be patient, since it will take some time to load the simulation, depending on how fast is your system. So, let's wait. Wait, let's just wait. It will take some time. Okay, perfect. Here it is, almost, we are almost there. And then let's expand this window. And here it is. Here is our mobile robot simulation. As you can see over here, we, can, we have a mobile robot and we have a LiDAR over here. Okay, first of all, let's learn how to navigate this view. First of all, to pan, you need to press and hold left mouse key and move left or right. Then, to zoom, you need to use the middle mouse button. Consequently, you need to scroll forward or backward, or to roll back, forward or backward, the middle mouse button, then to rotate the view, simply press the middle mouse button and you can do it like this. Perfect. So let's run this simulation. To run the simulation, go here and press run the simulation. And here it is, it's starting. What you can see over here is that LiDAR is continuously scanning the environment and this is our robot. Now, let's learn how to navigate this robot. To navigate this robot, go all the way down, and over here you have this teleoperation topic. Note that everything behind the scene is actually doing things, sorry, the gazebo is doing things by using topics and by using topics, nodes, etc. So this is the teleoperation topic, and you can see common velocity. Here is one of the nodes keyboard node and we can move the robot forward, left, back and right. So let's move the robot forward by pressing W and you can see the robot is moving forward. To move the robot back you need to press S as shown over here. To rotate the robot in the clockwise direction you need to press D. In the counterclockwise direction you need to press A and this is how you can navigate your robot inside of this environment and you can move the robot to any position and then you can navigate through this warehouse okay that's all for today and thanks for watching